Hi folks, Nathan Click here. Um, I'm here to present another model that I hope will make it onto the asset store. Um, this is a Spear Shark. Um, it has a lot to do with ocean or um, freshwater kind of um, fishes. It depends on what the person that um, buys it wants to do with it, but um, it was a creation that I decided, hey, let's go ahead, you know what I mean? But let's go ahead and get started. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I'm using the same layout as I did with my amp pack, so those of you that have bought that, you know exactly what it is and how it is. I mean, so let's go ahead and jump in. So this is my Spear Shark. Um, it's got, uh, you know, bones coming out everywhere. Three eyeballs. Um, the water intake for the gills. It pumps out right here. There's no special animations for that, but... Um, my dad suggested that uh, I make something to go over these holes, so... Um, maybe later in the future I'll make some other things, but for now all we have is this uh, tumor. So I've created it for both sides, um, a solid both, and then a left and a right. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's, it's kind of like an attachment, like hair. Um, so for those of you that know what you're doing, you know what you can, what the possibilities with this is. So let's go ahead and, um, turn those off. I'll probably turn them back on in a little bit. I'll also show you how I put them, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, how I put them together and uh, attached them to where they actually move with the animations. Um, they don't morph with the animations, which there's actually some code on um, uh, Unity's uh, manual stuff, their wiki. I mean, they have all the stuff that you need to make it do what the animation's doing. <coughs> so, um, you can look that up, but I found a, a pretty easy way, like if you're just trying to get away with something. Um, you know, you can do it uh, the way that I'll show you in a little bit. But let's go ahead and get started. So, we have an idle. Let's slow it down. So, it's just chilling in the water. It's barely moving. I think it looks pretty good. <coughs> Next animation is the swim animation. Let's go ahead and start that up. You can slow speed it up a little bit faster it's not half bad but let's go ahead and turn those tumors on you can kind of see that it moves with it left right all right let's move on to the next taking some damage so it's not like perfect but um, I seen this in the actual death the water death animation and I figured hell I can I can I can make a, a take damage out of that just that short little clip right there <coughs> all right let's move on attack zero nothing special you can see the its spear coming out of its mouth the way it protects itself the way it feeds itself um, Again, it's a, it's a fantasy creature, so none of it really has to make any sense. You know, when you go into building a creature, you want to you wanna ask yourself what certain parts of it are actually meant for. I mean, you can't just have them there doing nothing. But anyways, I thought this was pretty nice. Let's move on. Attack 01 is just a more aggressive spear attack. And then this is my favorite, Attack Zero Two, because I got to thinking, 
you know, these these bones that are coming out on the sides, like there's no way for anybody to kind of grasp the the possibilities behind that. So I built this animation for it. So it backs up, kind of slides forward and jabs with that, swims back around and comes back into position. So you can imagine yourself kind of standing right here, fighting it or swimming right here. It can be a land or sea creature. Um, and, and you know, it kind of bears back, jabs you, and then starts swimming around. It's nothing special, but it is my favorite about the Spear Shark. It's not bad. Let's move on. Oh, let's go ahead and run this so you can see. You know, they don't just float where that place was. They actually go with the animation, so. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, to land death. So it takes that hit that I was talking about before it kind of twitches and then falls down and goes limp all across. So like it was laying on the ground. Now before I had um, gravity added to this and I put a collider on the display disc here and <clears throat> it, it was working out pretty good but I figured, you know, I'm just showing off animations. There's no real reason for me to go into that much detail. But you can add gravity to this thing. And when that animation plays, it'll play that animation and fall down. Lay flat on the ground. So, there's that. And the very last one was kind of... I guess just a throw together, I, I know that I could have done a little bit better on it, but I'm going to settle for what it is. Um, so, just kind of flops over, and you can imagine adding the reverse possibility of gravity here, where it floats up in the water. It just kind of lays there, it's dead. So that is final. Um, let's go ahead and show you that, that that runs with that. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put the tumors on this creature, um, the spear shark, so that you don't get lost with that. So, <clears throat> in this demo, for each one of these, I drilled down to the head bone, and I placed these underneath the head bone. Now, when you first do this, if you grab this and you actually drop it on the spear shark's model, it will zero itself out where it needs to be. Then you can drag it from the inside of this model here to the head. And it will be where it needs to be and it will move with the animations. And that's how I did that um, with those. Um, there was a little bit more work because I had to work it into the buttons. But there it is, guys. And I hope you enjoy it. And, um, yeah. Well, I mean... Keep on gaming, doing your games, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.